Hey folks, this is going to be a kind of short video. Just want to go over uh, what I've been through today. Oh, I went to the warehouse, I worked on the iRobot, and uh, I actually used the proper chip this time. <laughs> I cannot believe that. Unbelievable. Well, it turns out that TI has corrected the error of their ways, and the later issues of those TI chips actually use that pinout that are from Motorola and Fairchild and uh, National. And uh, I was like, oh man, that drove me crazy. Anyway, uh, this right here is uh, code for low resolution uh, image. Here, let me show you what we got here. So we got, boom! This is uh, image that has been generated from uh, this right here. Uh, that we can uh, export. Where's my cursor? Oh, there we go. So, hello? Can I can I work here? Oh my God! Anyway, whatever. Yeah. So that image generates that image, and uh, that this is on the Commodore sixty four right now. So I, I, like I couldn't believe how well. And this is only two colors per uh, character. You see that little blinking cursor up there? You can only have two colors uh, per character uh, in this mode. And uh, it interprets it not that bad. There's there's a little bit of wonkiness. Um, you know, like you'll see like a lot of these dark uh, 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 pixels in here. But, you know, that that's just part of the image because it, it, it it looks at it and goes, okay, which one is closer, this color or this color? And it's going to pick the darker one, obviously, because the close, it matches closer to that compared to the other one. So that's why it's doing that. And again, I didn't even doctor this picture. You know, it's not even cleaned up. Um, and uh, I, I just literally converted it from uh, the original picture to this. And it works really well. I was really surprised. It's not too shabby, and if you cleaned it up, it'll look fantastic. Well, as fantastic as low res could be. <laughs> but anyway, I guess tomorrow is going to be um, getting the uh, four color version of this going, and then uh, going from there. So yeah, that's about it, folks. I uh, don't really have much else to tell. I mean, I, I shot a video of uh, me working on the iRobot today, but I'm like, you know, I mean... It really, I didn't make any breakthroughs or anything like that, so I figured, eh, why bother? So anyway, that's about it. I think um, what I'm going to have to do with that iRobot is bring all my test gear here at the house because um, it, is, it is really unbearably hot at the warehouse. I mean, I, I try to get there early, like 10 o'clock, and even by like 10, 11 o'clock, it just gets so damn hot. I, I can't even concentrate. I can't even think. It, it's so unbearable. I mean, I, I literally, I'll take off my pants and everything, and that's uh, that's quite a sight. And uh, <laughs> I just can't. I can't work. So I'm thinking, let me bring everything here. Let me bring my my all my metering equipment, all the my parts, everything. Just bring it here, and I can work on it here, and uh, uh, be able to to burn through it much much easier here so anyway that's about it folks uh i guess i'll see you all later you have a great night bye bye